and as I was trying to get into the whole thing about grammar, right? Maybe this is the most important one because this is not something you learn from a book. Hardly any human being on the planet have learned grammar from a book. They've learned it by using it, uh -huh. learning by doing. Most people can actually speak before they start trying to learn the, the systematic parts of grammar. This is why you have uh, the, the, the funny things like, uh, like uh, children conjugations, uh -huh. right? Um, and, and even some adults uh, still have issues with, uh, with uh, conjugating uh, the verbs. So, so, so um, it's, um, you, you eventually learn the exceptions to the rules. Yeah, 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 you learn the rules so you can break them, or rather, you learn, <laughs> uh, you learn to choose which rules to break. Let's not make people total anarchists straight ahead, but yes, it's... Um, Whatever makes you think anyone that wasn't already would ever want to listen to this? <laughs> well, the point is that uh, one of the things that um, uh, we know now in, uh, from psychology is that um, a kid needs to attain some fundamental grammar before they reach age seven. Uh, about uh, six, seven, eight uh, years of age, depending uh, on, of course, the, the influence um, from uh, upbringing, a child has their grammar and their language set. It is, it is done. This is why something like dyslexia, it actually comes from um, uh, n not using their brain uh, enough being mm -hmm. under stimulated really um, and if you do not have uh, things like fundamental phonemes right um, words are created by um, the, the the parts of a, of a word's morphology its shape it's based on its root and then uh, its uh, prefix or its suffix, right? What goes in front and what goes behind, and these things can then have functions. The 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 suffix can can be things like uh, um, grammatical functions like uh, conjugations, mm -hmm. and what goes in front is uh, things that can uh, examples would be things that uh, negate the word, right? Um, um, uh, synchronous. Mm -hmm. Uh, synchronous is split up I in um, chronos, which is time, and sin, which means together or uh, at the same time or uh, next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, you have it in 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 uh, synchronicity, in uh, syncretism, in uh, uh, synodes. Uh, all these things is with that prefix, right? Um, and that then means happening together. Mm -hmm. um, then you can actually put a prefix on that. You can actually negate that by putting uh, what is called uh, an alpha privativum, which is basically um, a, a letter that makes it the opposite. So if you say it's asynchronous, then it's mm -hmm. out of sync. It's, uh, it's n not at the same time. So this is how you construct a word when it comes to morphology, right? Um, and, and these functions are what really creates um, language. Language is really symbols. Um, so that's the whole word uh, in its morphology. And each part is, is then the, the functions. Then you also have the phonemes, which is the actual... Um, uh, parts that make the sound a sin cro nos right um, you always need a um, a vowel and a consonant to make a phoneme right um, at least um, because uh, consonants cannot stand alone so uh -huh. there's a we could go into the whole language stuff but but then phonemes are made of letters and so on and so forth. So it's just well, morphemes, but yeah. Um, so you have uh, the the whole word, the morpheme, and then you have the phone phoneme, and then you have the letterings, the the 
All right. and, the, and, and the thing is that this is about the construction of a symbol. And then we could get into the whole what are symbols and what are meaning and information theory. But it's all something we use in everyday life. Um, we just don't have, most of us, a systematic approach to decoding them. No, exactly. And, and, and this is what people just need to get used to. It's not that difficult. You just need to know some of the fundamental terms. And when you know that, then you can just start playing with it. Because this is actually really fun. I'll give you another example. The word oh, yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll love to hear that. But I'll, I'll hold you to that thought a minute, actually. Because when, if it's that easy, and it's been around that long... And it's just, you can just start doing it like that. And we haven't even explained what it is yet. Why isn't everyone doing it? If it's the shit. I mean, <laughs> it is the shit. And it's really, really funny. And it's really um, something that, that many people do without knowing it. Uh, a lot of comedy and humor comes from this. It's mm -hmm. actually deconstructing reality and, and presenting it in a new way with a narrative. Uh, a presentation that that really uses actually the trivium and where the 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 pathos part right the emotional thing is the punchline <laughs> yep. where you turn things around and where you give it some sort of reaction